In this video, I'm going to show you how on a recent wedding, we use the Profoto B1 to basically recreate the sun to create those beautiful golden hour sun flares when there was no sun. Now with golden hour, or basically when the sun is getting low on the horizon, the light gets opened up. Why? Because you have all of this atmosphere which the light is passing through and it creates a larger light source than when the sun is just directly overhead. In doing so, it also turns to this beautiful gold kind of yellowish tone that has an amazing look over images. It creates beautiful sun flares. It works incredibly well for engagement, wedding, and really any type of portraiture in general. And when you don't have that golden hour look, there's quite a big difference. If you don't have the sun, and that could be for a whole variety of reasons, you can still get great imagery, don't get me wrong, but you won't get that golden hour sun-kissed look that so many brides are after. So what do you do when you're in a situation where you have no sun? Well, at one of our recent weddings, my bride told me that she loves golden hour imagery. The problem was that on the day of, like most weddings, well, things can kind of run behind. There's always unforeseen circumstances. Uh, it is coming soon. Can you guys soon? stay in this area? Yeah. The light is crazy, crazy light. right now. Yeah. I'm like rushing. It's okay, because it's 720. And this is like, this is golden hour right now. Says Neem. Now, even though the sun had set, basically what we decided to do was we still wanted to get a few couples portraits. And we took 10 minutes and I said, you know what? We're going to recreate the sun. So we can't really go down there because sure. it's like by the time we get there, it's going to be gone. Sure. So we're going to make our own gold now here. Sounds so perfect. we have these lights set up to do it. Okay. Sounds perfect. So how do we do that? Well, to recreate the sun effectively or to say convincingly, you need to do a couple things. One, you need to move the light source or the flash that you're going to be using very far back in the scene. Okay, so we need to actually get that light several hundred feet away from us and kind of in the position where the sun would be setting. Karen, go back to where the sun is. So like behind that other bush. Now the purpose of that is I want that light to shine through and I want it to hit all of the objects in the scene, all the plants, the trees, the vegetation, the architecture, everything just in the same way that the sun would have. The next thing, I told Karen that we're gonna need a lot of power. If we're moving the flash 300 feet back and we wanna recreate the sun, we're gonna need to bust out the B1s. So we did that. The second thing was I told Karen that I needed her to take two gels and basically just hold it right over the front of the, the Profoto B1. Now these are full CTO gels and there's basically two of them stacked. So we're getting an extremely warm color temperature. Again, we're trying to recreate the look and color of that golden hour, hence gold, sunlight. With that all set up, I got onto my camera, we're shooting on the 5D Mark III and a 7200. And we are shooting at 1 200 of a second, F2.8 and ISO 1600. With the flash placed all the way back, we're firing at these settings and we're getting the following images, which you can see are very convincingly golden hour styled images. Now, when I showed my couple these images, they were simply blown away. We put a flash back there, so we made our own sun. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. That looks gorgeous. So we have sun right now. Oh, that's awesome. That's amazing. Okay. My bride came out kind of a little bit let down. She apologized to me. She was let down that she missed golden hour. And I told her, you know what? Don't worry, we're going to recreate golden hour. But she really didn't know what exactly we could do. And this is where being a photographer that understands lighting is such an awesome thing because you can really go above and beyond and far exceed your client's expectations and make them think that you are an absolute magician because you are. My name is Pi. Hopefully you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next one.